Is it possible to use a stencil on resin? Hola, mis amores. I'm going to use this Petri dish mold to see if I can use stencils. And I'll be using one of these sheets. First, we will need to make some resin. I'll be using Estoyo 1 to 1 by volume. Pour your resin to the top, but leave approximately 3 millimeters, as you'll need that space for later. And then leave it to cure completely. This is ready. I'm going to be using Pebel's Gilding Glue and I've gone with this stencil. There are so many different patterns and styles out there. Place your stencil where you want it. I'm going to start off in the centre. Hold it down with some tape to avoid it moving around. I'm going to use a small sponge to add the gilding glue. That way I can dab it on and I won't have too much glue, which can seep under. Bet you didn't know that one. <laughs> oh, ha, 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 ha. Dab it lightly, making sure to cover all the areas. You don't need a thick layer. I'm using a heat gun to dry the glue faster, because I'm impatient. Then peel off the stencil carefully. Try to avoid smudges. So far, so good. With a bit of isopropyl alcohol, clean up any areas that might have unwanted glue. If you make a mistake, don't worry. Just use that alcohol with a cloth to clean it all up and start again. I did three times because I'm such a klutz. <laughs> Go over with a heat gun to dry the area. Now to choose one of the holographic sheets. Place the sheet on top of the area and cut the piece off. Keep doing this till you cover the whole area. Use your fingers to rub gently. Then peel off slowly the strips. Don't throw them away as you can still use them. So now we have a design. It's looking promising. I've decided to add the same stencil again, but randomly. As my stencils aren't very big, it just looked bare, so I've decided to add two more. I'm using the same method as before and the same strips. Waste not, want not. Ah, oh, I'm such a dildo. I forgot to press the record button, sorry. What I did was spray some isopropyl alcohol like this, and then with a soft blending brush, and let's resin intense chameleon in blue, just went over the whole area. I shouldn't have sprayed it again because I've just smudged the area. Oh well, I just wanted to show you how to apply pigments on dry resin. I've prepared some black polyurethane for the backing. This is why we needed to leave a little space and not fill the mold to the top. Pour the resin and let it cure. Don't forget to hit the boop, like button and subscribe if you haven't already. This is ready to unmold. It worked! Yay! Kisses for me! You can see where I smudged it, but at least we know it works. Let me know if you would like to see more stenciling techniques. Keep watching for the end results. Toodles!